Previously on God of War Ragnarok. The word is complete, but I still can't read it from here. Let's head back down. My final time. The deepest wounds form the strongest bonds. Hey, how's it going, everyone? I hope you're all having a great weekend. It's your boy, Danibus, and we are playing some more God of War Ragnarok. I'm sure you guys know by now by my voice that I'm not doing so hot, but I'm here. Um, huh. Eyes of Odin, the Crucible. The Elven Sanctum. Um, I'm kind of curious about the Elven Sanctum. Let's go over there. I'm going to try to get a lot more oh, done in this footage. Elven Sanctum then, or something else? We certainly can't. Though we do have something else that needs our attention. We found a Hofgufa out in the barrens, my lady. In terrible pain. We freed it, but there's another in town somewhere beneath the forbidden signs. A Hofgufa? I haven't seen one since I was a child. Lead the way. Right. All right. Oh, it's Sindri. What are you doing out here? Do you regret it, Mamir? Most likely. Dad, what are we talking about in particular? Giving up your body? I regret exchanging my life for my freedom? That's a question I ask myself every day, my lady. What about today? Today? Glad to be out in the world. How else could I spend such quality time with you? <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> Puppy bots. <laughs> Much of the sand has been cleared away, but another storm rages beyond that pass, which must mean... Another half gufa. Half gufa. Odd. It looks as though the light elf sealed off this section of the Baron. Why? Luckily for us, a very considerate goddess has enhanced our magic chisel, and we can unseal it. My. That is lucky. Very lucky. The forbidden sands lay beyond. Contested territory, according to Bela, and another storm to endure. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's the storm. It's coming in. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Yeah, I, I hate being sick, but. Oh, well. I remember when Freya and I traveled to this realm as children. The desert was healthy and full of life back then. I can't help but fear that era has ended for good and our efforts here are futile. It's a fair concern. Oh, Healing this land that? will take more than a pair of singing hats. But I have to believe in the long run, we're doing right by our mm, One can only hope, Mimir. Best we start looking for a way underground. Keep a lookout for a cave. Right. Cave. I see an entrance. <laughs> oh, what's over here? Oh, it is the cave entrance. Okay. But is it the one we need? I hope Freyr will appreciate our work here in the desert. 
I wonder if he knows how poorly this realm has fared in his absence. Aye. Hearing the Song of the Sands again is a rare privilege, even if it's only a solo act. Or a duet, once this Hopgoofa is free. <clears throat> This architecture, it is not of the Dark Elves. An abandoned ancient settlement, by the looks of it. Built long before the Lightwell's creation. More hive matter as well. I'd say we're on the right track, then. <laughs> hmm. door but where where does it go blocked could i reach it from down here Hive material is sensitive to sound. How odd. Huh. Odd. came here with you and Atreus, I assumed the absence of Alfheim's light was an aberration. I didn't realize it was covered by hive matter. Aye, and as far as the Dark Elves are concerned, it's that light column in the center of the temple that's the aberration. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the light well, or even our trapped half giffer for that matter. That's quite the empathetic perspective, Mimir. Well, dangle from a burly god's backside for a few winters, and you'll find yourself looking for all sorts of new perspectives. Hmm. More high, but denser. Too thick for that. Maybe the twilight stone on the ground will help. Oh, yeah. Oh, it did. Well, there you go. Okay. Brother, that drum's going to 
perch on high. That was the last one. Oh. Cool. White elves don't often travel underneath the barrens, do they? Territory changes hands often in now time. Or so it appears. Big Veer did mention that these ruins have historical significance for <laughs> white elves. <clears throat> I assume they're only here to keep intruders out. Well, at least they tried. I suspect the corpse below would disagree. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea if we're going the right way. I really don't think so, but eh. We're exploring. We're having fun. Oh yeah, that one's pretty dense. Good eye. Let's continue, shall we? That's not nice. I hope freeing these oh. half goofas will allow them to breed again. It was a dazzling display once. The skies of Alfheim filled with their song. I imagine it's the lack of fresh light that's caused this pair to grow abnormally large. No use in having babies if there's nothing for them to feed on. Trying to protect their children from a harsh world. I can relate. What about the other thing? Ooh, 
Well, we got to keep moving on now. Hmm. Sorry, I had to set my coffee. getting sort of closer even though I'm not even watching the thing oh I wonder if these two comprehend the choice they face in this free what choice do you speak of the life cycle of the Hakuta in order to breed they must pass on their light to their children and without light they will die I suppose that's all any of us can hope for in the end that our death has purpose. That we can live on through our children. Well, given another chance, I know what you guys have. This is gonna be tricky. <laughs> Excuse me. To the surface we go. And that one's gone. A pipe. Used in many of Freyr's blessings, I imagine. Yeah.
plant. Oh. Hmm. Cool. The fate of these creatures it reminds me of a story. Does it? There once was a blacksmith whose king commanded him to construct a box that could contain all the evils of the world. But no metal could hold such a power. So the blacksmith used the flame Kratos, of... Kratos, is this a story meant to ease my grief? Perhaps it is just a story. A way to pass the time. I appreciate the sentiment, but... Well, your stories... About my stories? I wouldn't exactly call them a comfort. Fair. Mimir is a better storyteller. Now don't sell yourself short, brother. You've come a long way from the days of laconic fables. <laughs> it's okay. Finish your story, Kratos. The blacksmith's daughter was the key to unlocking the box. He died trying to protect her from those who opened it. Well, at least it's a relatable story. <laughs> Now we can get out of here. I'm surprised I'm even remembering where I came from. Holy crap. It appears we've overstayed our welcome in Alfheim. And the end. All these materials would be a shame if they went to waste. Jewelry. Oh? Put it on one of my horns. Let's see if I can pull it off. No. <laughs> Archive of knowledge. No sign of the light elves. For now. Maybe they've left for the day. We can browse at our leisure. So, these are the Valing schematics, eh? You know of him. Aye. One of the most gifted dwarven smiths around. Until he developed a conscience, anyhow. Hmm. Hmm. These texts alone are not enough to end the Elven War, but restricting their access only serves those who wish to prolong it. Taking a page out of Odin's book. Aye, quite the advantage for the Light Elves. Hmm. 
Interesting. This book is sealed, but there is an inscription. Consul. Big Veer spoke of an exile of the same name. Odds are he'd like a gander at that particular text. All this knowledge of their ancestors, their shared history, poetry, just sitting here, forgotten. What a waste. Yeah. All right. I was actually doing that without even knowing it, and I was on a different one. Gosh. Here's the librarian would like a word. Oh? Not a look. Sounds like she wants that journal back. No. Shield strike! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm I might be boned here. Oh yeah, I'm boned. Thank God. That was a fight. Thought you were going to end her. When last we traveled here, after Faye passed, I killed an elf of great importance. The ramifications were dire for his people. I do not wish to make the same mistake twice. Very wise and kind of the God of War. Oh, I remember this.
if my stories are of no comfort. Take solace in knowing you did what you thought was best for your son's safety. Even these creatures know. There is little choice for a parent. You are not alone. <sighs> I'm not, am I? And now neither are they. That is so beautiful and majestic. Incredible. The soul of the sands. Well, didn't know I could get misty. It's beautiful. Thank you, Kratos. This land sings once more. We've done good here. No rush to leave yet, is there? Wait. Who knows what kind of adventures await us in a freshly lit barrens? <laughs> 